The need to manage vast amounts of streaming data is becoming more and more common in today's businesses. Usually this is facilitated by a streaming platform that takes a central place in the organization. The platform acts as a marketplace, bringing together the parties that either produce or consume streaming data. Usually a platform team manages the platform and supports developers, data engineers and their DevOps teams in onboarding and connecting. As business demands are growing and become more and more data powered, the success of the platform grows. Support and onboarding requests pile up and the central team starts to become a bottleneck. Clearly, this doesn't scale well. In this demo video, you will find out how Actual helps you to start streaming easily and effectively. When you are building an application that either produces or consumes streaming data, there are typically a couple of steps that you will always follow. For a producer application, the flow typically looks like this. Step 1. It starts with a business case. Without that, nothing really happens. Step 2. A stream is being created and defined. Step 3. A producer application is being prepared so it has an owning team and can be properly authorized to access the data on the stream. Step 4. A producer app is being built using a library of your choice or an interface like REST proxy. Step 5. The producer is verified to work correctly in a non-production environment. And step 6. The app is taken to production. For a consuming app, the flow is just a tiny bit different. Step 1. Of course, the business case is still the starting point. But then, step 2. The consuming team looks for the stream that has been prepared by another team. Step 3. The consumer app is being prepared. And step 4. Being built using the preferred library. Step 5. The working of the consumer is verified in a non-production environment before, in step 6, the app is taken to production. I will now demo this typical flow, starting with the producer. The demo is based on the following use case. A company named DemoCorp has a growing number of applications. Incidents in demos applications severely impact the business, whether it concerns back office or customer facing applications. Therefore, it is critical to be aware of incidents happening as soon as possible. DemoCorp already has an incident reporting API, which is used by a reporting app, but that application merely stores the records in a database for reporting. But that's not enough. The organization wants to be able and respond to these incident events in real time and alert their operation engineers upon serious application issues. They want to use PagerDuty for this. The real-time incident alerter will therefore forward any relevant incident to the PagerDuty API. They decide to use Actual to make those incidents available as events on the stream and set up the pipeline from producer to consumer. So there we have the business case. Let's continue and set up our pipeline step by step. First I log into the self-service interface. Then I use the menu on the left to navigate to streams and click new stream. Now I'm going to add metadata so that other people within the company know what to expect when they would consume messages from this stream. I enter a name that helps us to identify the stream, application incidents. In the description field I can add even more information. Now I select a team that can be considered the data owner. This group of people is the go-to team for additional information about the stream and responsible for granting applications access, whether it's for producing or consuming the data. I'm going to select Team Alpha here. The key type and value type fields are important as they provide more insights in what data can be found on the stream. Here I will select Avro as the key and value type. This allows me to select a schema for both key and value. I hear you think, but you never mentioned schemas before. That's right. Essentially, schemas are used as a contract to define the fields that form the messages produced to a stream. In another video, we will go more in depth on the use of schemas. Back to the demo. For now, I'm going to select the application ID schema for the key and application incident event for the value. With the retention policy, I define how I want to treat the retention of messages on the stream. Do I want to keep the messages for a custom period, say one or three days, or do I want to keep the latest value for a given key forever? Here I'm going to select remove all messages when the retention period has passed. Then I click create stream. 
This takes me to the stream detail page, which shows all the information I have just entered. If I want to correct something, I can always click edit stream. I don't always test my code, but when I do, I do it in production. This probably looks familiar to you. Luckily, Actual allows you to test drive your app and stream in a non-production environment first. How you can do this we will cover in detail in another video. The last step in preparing the stream is to configure the stream in an existing environment named development. I define the retention time using the time picker. I enter 1 and I select days. Then I select the latest schema versions for both the key and the value. Next, I enter the number of partitions for the application incident stream in the development environment. The number of partitions essentially defines how many instances of a consuming application can simultaneously consume from this stream. I don't expect a huge volume and my consumer application will most likely keep up with the pace of the producer. That's why I select 4 here. When I click save, the stream has become available. This concludes step 2. That's it! In this video we have shown common steps you take when setting up a streaming data pipeline. And we have made a start setting up one ourselves using Actual. In steps 1 and 2 we have prepared a stream, which is an essential prerequisite for any streaming data pipeline. In the next video we will proceed with steps 3 and 4, where we will prepare the producer applications and use it to produce events to the application incident stream. We will also verify that the events have been produced successfully using self-service. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one!